Hey, it's Alex! And, um, what you're seeing here is, uh, actually early gameplay of my newest game. Um, it's called Red, although that won't be the final title. Um, as you can see, it's a twin-stick top-down shooter, uh, made in Game Maker Studio. Um, and I'm going for, like, a really simplistic art style, where, like, everything's just, like, black outlines, and, like, some objects are red. Um... But before I go into detail on this game, I wanted to talk about the history of development because this game was actually uh, reincarnated twice. So the very first version of Red was actually just like a hack and slash style platformer. Um, it had a big focus on melee combat, but the melee combat was really shitty. Like you just mash the attack button and hope you don't get hit. Um, no strategy to it. Um, so it sucked. But that's really all there is to say about this version. So a couple years later I decided to reboot the game into a twin stick shooter. So this is the second version of Red. It already looks a lot more like the uh, current version than the first one did. I'm still using stick figures but uh, and this time it was in 3D. Um, I ended up cancelling this version too and that's mainly due to the fact that um, it was just too much work. because. Game Maker Studio doesn't natively support uh, skeletal animations for 3D models, so basically what I had to do to animate the characters was animate them and then export each frame as a separate model and import that into Game Maker, and then I'd have my own system for like switching between the models to animate them. So it, w it was just too much work. In fact, look how many freaking models I have, and that's just for the animations alone. So yeah, I cancelled this one too, and it seemed like... At the time, I was never going to try to make another 3D twin stick like this, at least not in Game Maker. But then, last year, I discovered a an extension for Game Maker called Skeletal Animation 3D by Manta Games. Basically, what this allows you to do is import rigged and animated models from a program called uh, Misfit Model 3D uh, into Game Maker and use them in your games. So I was like, whoa, I want to I wanna make something with this. So I bought it. And then, I don't remember how, but I had the idea to reboot Red again. And um, so here we are. Okay, so now on to the game. Each stage's objective will pretty much just be get to the end of the stage and don't die. This will probably almost always involve shooting all the enemies. Um, they'll put you down in only a few hits too, so running through them really isn't an option. A uh, one major gameplay change from the second version is that instead of being able to carry every gun, you can now only carry three guns, uh, and that's two small guns and one large gun. And if you want, you can dual wield the small guns for the combined firepower at the cost of accuracy. Uh, this change was directly inspired by Max Payne 3, which uses a similar system. In an effort to make this game the best that I can possibly make, I'm loading it with all kinds of special effects and stuff that you'd see in other games. So, for example, uh, dust comes off when bullets hit the wall, uh, casings and shells like fly out when you shoot, um, magazines drop when you reload, and even doors will break apart when you shoot through them. Now the AI works like this. At the start of the level they won't know you're there. They'll just stand there and wait. They'll be alerted if one of a few different things happens, so whether you step into their line of sight, or you fire your gun within a certain radius, or if they like see your bullet impact or something. Um, alerted enemies will also alert other nearby enemies too, so if you alert one enemy in a room full of enemies, they'll all be alerted. And once they do know you're there, they'll try to run to wherever they think you are, so if you trick them or outrun them, uh, and they don't find you, they'll go into search mode and just start searching the nearby area until they see you again or until they hear your gunshots. Well, I think that pretty much gets you up to speed on what I've been working on. Um, that's all I really wanted to say in this video. Um, but I will be making more of these as I continue to work on the game. Um, so, until the next video, uh, see you later.